I'm in Chengdu in Sichuan province and this city is famous for food. Um, it's also like a big place in China to come and visit. Um, you can get lots of hot pots and it's known for the food is known for being particularly spicy. They put like a certain type of spice in the food. So I'm gonna show you about Chengdu. So this is the Uwaho Su Shrine and uh, it was built a long time ago back when there was three kingdoms in China because obviously Sichuan was one of those three kingdoms. So it's a very old shrine, it's very beautiful and there's a lot of statues here. <laughs> It's like a big mound of like ground here behind me and um, this is where one of the emperors from the Three Kingdoms is buried. I'm at a panda sanctuary today. Um, so we're gonna go and see some different kinds of pandas. Just gone to have a look at some uh, red pandas and now we're gonna go and try and find some uh, giant pandas. So now I'm in Le Shan, which is a, a small city just outside of Chengdu, and uh, I'm going to show you around some of the sites here. So now I'm walking up Le Shan Mountain to go and see the Grand Buddha, and I think it's the biggest Buddha statue in China. Just behind me is the uh, big Buddha statue and there's also a temple on top of this mountain. The Le Shan is particularly famous for its spicy food. Today I'm going up Erme Mountain. Uh, the peak, the summit of the mountain is at 3,022 meters, I think. And um, it takes quite a long time to get here, so now we're just below the summit. Uh, we took a coach to the bottom of the summit, so uh, we'll get up there soon. Um, apparently there's a big Buddha statue and um, also there's a beautiful view, so I'll show you it soon. Now I'm at the summit of the mountain and it's got a very beautiful view and um, Buddhist temple. Um, the tickets unfortunately are quite expensive, so that's a downside to it, but 
Um, it's definitely worth the view, I think. I think the scenery is fantastic. Um, you know, but I think I had to kind of rush this, so if I were you, I'd plan to come here for a few days maybe, because they've got monkeys up on this mountain as well, and a few other temples to go and see. So you can go and visit like um, shows in Chengdu. Um, some of them are pretty good. Um, it depends kind of which place you go to. Obviously, there's better quality ones and lower quality ones where they'll try and sell you stuff. Um, I think that um, the, the kind of stuff they show at the shows are quite interesting because it's all like. Uh, local kind of Sichuanese dances, you know, they'll have people dancing with teapots, ladies in long dresses dancing, um, like finger puppet shows, um, and also it will have like a, a face mask show, which is a very Sichuanese style of dance, so it's pretty good to go and see those kind of stuff too. It's a very good place to just kind of relax and chill out and see what's going on. There isn't many sites inside Chengdu, and there's one or two, but um, there's lots of local culture and stuff to check out, which is pretty good. Um, it's all the small subtle things that kind of make Chengdu pretty good. Um, if you want to see any sites and things like that, you've got to kind of... Uh, leave Chengdu and go to smaller cities outside of Chengdu. Um, the downside to the sites are that they're pretty expensive, but I'd say they're all worthwhile visiting. And um, there's a lot of tourists here, so, um, you know, you won't be the only person in Chengdu. And, um, yeah, I'd say it's a very good place in China to visit. If you could please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. 难得不会获益的不